everybody ready? Let's talk about it. Hey, y'all. Let me show y'all something. Y'all see this? Y'all see that? That is my C-section. Zachariah came out two pounds, seven ounces. He's a healthy baby boy. He is doing wonderful. My baby is good, okay? They said he came out punching, okay? Just like his mama. Yes. Yes, I had Zachariah. His birthday is May 1st. He came out at 11 o'clock today. What's up, you guys? Hey, your girl is a YouTube auntie. Hey, auntie. Hey, auntie. Your girl is a YouTube auntie. So, y'all heard Shanae, big name in the house. So, she had baby Zachariah. First of all, congratulations to her. And from all of us to her, let's wish... Let's wish her well wishes you know i'm glad zachariah came i'm glad that um he's finally here so like i said i'm the auntie we got a new a new person to our group y'all yay let's clap that up so now that we got the congratulations out of the way I must say, Shanae is, in my opinion, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not none of that. Shanae is a little bit on the delusional side, if you ask me. And here's why I say that. Y'all heard her say Zachariah was born two pounds, right? Some odd ounces. A two pound baby is as big as my foot, okay? And I wear a size a size 10 shoe in female. So that's like around the size of my foot. She's saying that he's healthy. Shanae, I need you to understand that the baby is two pounds. Two pounds. That's not healthy, ma'am. Two pounds, he's very small. He needs, he needs so much care. He needs so much treatment right now. And I don't, I, I honestly don't think Shanae grasped what's really going on. Shanae is, I don't know. Maybe she's trying to put it to the back of her mind. Like, you know, he's really healthy. Ma'am, the baby is two pounds. Two pounds. You had a C-section, and I don't know how true this is, but she said that the baby, um, she said that he came early because he was taking up too much room in her body. Like, he was getting too big for her body, and he was sitting on her lungs. I don't know how true that is because, you know, we know how Shanae do. She lies a lot. So, I don't know how true that is. In any event, Shanae, Zach going to need a lot of care. Zach going to be in the hospital for a while, okay? And then Shanae is worrying about the wrong things. You hear what she's talking about? My baby ain't ugly. He did. Um, you guys won't be able to see him yet until he get older. I want to, you know, let him um, get out the hospital and put clothes on him and stuff. Like, I don't want to show him right now. Um, I don't have to, you know, and that's a choice of mine. Because you know how people are and things, but I can tell you one thing. My baby not ugly at all. Like Tori. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, are you serious, girl? Your baby ain't ugly. He look like Tori. You worrying about the wrong thing. You need to be worrying about him getting healthy, him getting that weight up, making sure his vital organs are good. And, you know, just wishing to him get stronger day by day. I know that baby is hooked up to a whole bunch of machines. 
He got tubes, wires, everything coming out of him. And you talking about your baby not ugly. This is why people get on you, Sinead, because you're like, you worry about the wrong thing. Let's get him healthy. Let's think about his health. Let's pray for him to get stronger each and every day. You worrying about how he look. Like, come on, girl. Then another thing with her is that she bought all these toddler clothes. She bought all the three months. She knew from the beginning that she was going to go in early. She knew they was going to take the baby. First, they was going to take the baby at 37 weeks. Now it is that they took him two months early at 27, 28 weeks. And now she doesn't have any kind of clothes for the baby. Now she got to go get preemie clothes. Baby girl, you knew he was going to be premature from, from jump. You was by older three months, 18 months, six months. <sighs> Family, we got to pray for her. And we got to pray for Zach twice as much because... She says she's emotional. She go through her depression and stress. I hope, I pray that she does not get, um, what do you call that? Postpartum depression. I hope she don't get postpartum depression. Tori, he's a nervous wreck. He over there crying to her sister, cousin, auntie. She got so much family that ain't even family. I can't keep up. But he's emotional wreck. He can't, he ain't gonna be no good to the baby. So Verlina is gonna be the one that have to take care of the baby. And Verlina talking about he eating on the cord and he gonna be eating up everything in it. Ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> that baby probably barely taking up two ounces of milk. He probably taking little drops. Like, I don't think you understand how dire this situation is and i hate to say it but you gonna have to put your big girl drawers on and get get right you're gonna have to really like you know you're gonna have to really have your wits about you because this situation is like granted he's in a hospital and i thank god that he's in a hospital and he's gonna be getting care around the clock and this another thing with her. Like, what are you talking about somebody coming up to the hospital to come see your baby and whatnot? Like, really? Again, you worrying about the wrong thing. I see why you stress. Because you stress yourself out. We over here, we're going to, um, you know, just continuously pray for baby Zach. Right? Make sure he get stronger each and every day. Make sure his vital organs are intact and, you know, he'll be able to breathe on his own and do all that's necessary for him to go home. But he's going to be in the hospital for a little while. Two pounds, he's going to be in there for a little bit. But, Shanae, you're going to have to really, like, get educated on how you're going to take care of this baby. You and Tori going to have to get educated. And Verlina, too, because she's talking about he chewing on the um the cord, and before you know it, he's going to be eating up a storm. I don't know if they're, like, thinking ahead, but let's face reality. He needs help. He's not well like Shanae's portraying it to be. He's not well. He need help. He gonna need a lot of help. So, us over here, we gonna continue to pray for Zach. You know, congratulations, Shanae. And I really hope you turn, do a 180, turn the corner, learn some lessons, follow the classes like the folks are saying. I hear you talking about breastfeeding now. I remember before, you was not trying to hear nothing about breastfeeding. So now you're saying that the doctors came in and they want you to pump and you, you know, you open to it. So I'm happy to hear that. So we're going to watch this journey, folks. And, you know, let's give her words of encouragement. Let's tell her if anybody that has had premature babies at that two pounds, you know, give her words of encouragement, words of advice. And, you know, let's help her out virtually. All right. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.